everyone and welcome back to my channel and in today's episode of social divas we it is more of a memorial video but at the same time it is one of the videos of uh, the biggest fraud ever her name is Tanya she went under the name Tanya Haid her name or her when she is born her name is actually Alicia Estef Haid she is a Spanish woman who claimed to be a survivor of the World Trade Center on September 11 2001 so when this uh, episode comes out it will be September 12th already so uh, I did say that all social divas will be coming out on the Sunday and she goes under the name called Tanya Head she joined the World Trade Center Survivors Network support group and later becoming the president of the support group her name was regularly mentioned in media reports of the attacks and in 2007 it was revealed his story was a hoax and she's not, not even on in uh, New York City when the Twin Towers came down in September 11 and in reality she is actually attending class her classes in her native city Barcelona so a little background of her that she is actually born on July 31st 1973 in Barcelona Spain she comes from a pro prominent Barcelonian family who was involved in the 1992 scandal for which her father and brother served prison terms for and there was not a lot of details about it she attended the University of Barcelona and worked for the Hotel de la Villa Olimpicia I hope I am saying it right I'm sorry if I'm not which is a hotel a Spanish hotel company and she later worked in Barcelona as a management secretary from the year 1998 to the year 2000 and was enrolled in a master's degree program in 2001 when the September 11 attacks took place so if you do not know what the World Trade Center Survivors Network is so here's a little the World Trade Center Survivors is like a network that was created for all the survivors of the 9-11 and the so for like the survivors and the family of some how do you say it like the for families who lost someone to the 9-11 so hate traveled to the u.s for the first time in 2003 the following year she joined the world trade center survivor network after Derek Bocas one of its founders learned through word of mouth that a woman named Tanya Haid had developed an online group for the 9-11 survivors. After many months of email correspondence with Bodrats, she merged their groups. The network's purpose was to provide support for survivors of the attack as most public support was paid to a select group of victims victims' families and first responders. The organization intended to bring together and support those who were also affected by the attacks including civilians present at the World Trade Center as well as the personnel and volunteers involved in the extensive rescue and recovery effort afterwards. Hate was never paid for these activities just to let you guys know nor for her involvement with the survivors network and in fact donated money to the group 
Head claimed to have been inside the South Tower when United Airlines Flight 175 hit. Crawling through smoke and flames on the 78th floor, sustaining severe burns on to her arm. If true, this would have made her one of only 19 people. Just to let you hear, if you like, think that you have missed the number, 19 people at or above the point of impact to have survived. Hate claimed that her fiancé Dave was killed in the North Tower, though later in telling of the stories, she said that Dave was actually her husband and not her fiancé. She also claimed that a dying man passed his wedding ring to her so it could be re returned to his widow and that she had been rescued by Wells Crowther, uh, Crowther whose heroic actions on that day were widely reported in the media. Head was interviewed in the media, invited to speak at university conference, and in 2005 was chosen to lead the tours in tribute to the WTC Visitor Center when she was photographed with New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg, former Mayor Rudy Giuliani, and former New York Governor George Pataki. He regularly recounted her claims to Ground Zero tour groups in vivid detail, saying, I was there at the towers. I'm a survivor. I'm going to tell you about that. She was featured in retrospective 9-11 articles and as re representative of the 20,000 surviving victims who escaped the damaged buildings. Richard Zimbler, her successor as president of the World Trade Center Survivors Network, said, there was no reason to doubt her story. She looked the part. She had a badly injured arm that appeared to have burned stars, and her story was very, very realistic. And huh, I'm sorry, guys. So the claims that has suddenly been disputed because in September of 2007, the New York Times sought to verify key details of hate story as part of an anniversary piece. Hate claimed a degree from Harvard University and a graduate business degree from Stanford University, but those institutions had no records of her. She claimed she had been working at Mary Lynch in the South Tower, but Mary Lynch had no record of her employment. Nor did Mary Lynch have offices in the World Trade Center at the time of the attacks. So he backed out of three scheduled interviews and later refused to speak to any reporters at all. The Times then contacted other members of the Survivors Network and raised questions about the veracity of hate story. By the week of September 27, 2007, the network voted to remove her as president and as a director of the group. Among the questionable elements of hate story was her engagement to the man named Big Dave, who had perished in the opposite tower. The man's family claimed that they had never heard of Tanya Head. The Barcelona newspaper La Vanguardia ultimately revealed that Head had been in class at Ezara in Barcelona during 9-11 attacks. 
where she had told her classmates that she, her stud arm, was the result of an automobile accident, or a horse riding accident, many years earlier. Lavang Gaudia reported that Haid attended classes in their program until June 2002, and Haid told her classmates that she wanted to go to New York. So, after Haid's fraud and exposure, she declined all further interviews and abruptly left New York. In February 2008, an anonymous email was sent from a Spanish account to members of the World Trade Center network claiming that Haid had committed suicide. In 2012, a book and featured film documentary both titled The Woman Who Wasn't There told Haid's story from inside the World Trade Center Survivors Network utilizing interviews with Haid and members of the network before and after her deception was reviewed. Both the book and film noted that Haid was seen with her mother in New York in se- on September 14, 2011. And in July 2012, Haid was fired from her position at Inter Partner Assistance, an insurance company in Barcelona, once her employers found out about her rules in New York. Feel your heart ache. And I started crawling over people who were burnt from head to toe, who were cut up, and I was I was trying to help them.